All right. Well, how are you feeling? Hopefully the holiday season hasn't caught up with you, but for so many, this is an incredibly difficult time bringing stress and depression front and center. We've got Gregory Malice from Pine Rust Christian Mental Health Services via Zoom with us this morning to talk about tips on managing all that is the holidays. Thanks so much for being with us. Sure, happy to be here. So I guess tell us if people are just not feeling great right now, if this has brought all of the feels to the forefront, what do they need to keep in mind and, and how, do, how can they best manage this? Yeah, I mean, I think it's important to remember that the holidays are meant to be a positive time and they are for many people, but for many people, it is a struggle during the holidays. And the things you want to keep in mind are, are kind of knowing your limits, know what things are likely to trigger you into sadness, into depression, into anxiety, and to try and be sure that once you know what those are, you can plan around them and plan for them. Um, think about people who you can connect with who are supports uh, and make sure that you you've got them on speed dial or you're going to be seeing them or connecting with them at some point because social connections are, are a great way to to kind of keep the spirits up over the holidays. Absolutely. Managing those people that you are surrounded with, big part of it, but also kind of the activities that you're doing. This is a lot of, of eating and drinking and, and being merry. And for a lot of people, those can be super triggering um, if, they're, if they're dealing with issues. So tell us how, how to prepare yourself before putting yourself in these situations. Definitely. I mean, it, most events that are going on in the holidays has something to do with either food or um, drinking, adult beverages, those sorts of things. So know your limits before you go um, and be comfortable setting those boundaries. If you're not planning on drinking or you're not planning on partaking in some of the treats, some of the sweets, the chocolates, um, all of those things, be okay with that for yourself and communicate that to the people who are around you and just set that boundary that I, I'm not going to do this today. I don't need this. Um, and hopefully the people around you will, uh, will respect and appreciate that. But the biggest thing is that for individuals, they set that boundary themselves. Absolutely. Boundaries incredibly important all of the time. And, and you know, what should people keep in mind? Obviously, preparing and, and, and really surrounding yourself with people you love and planning ahead, those are all great things. But what if it's just if they still don't feel well and, and people are just, hey, cheer up, you know, and, and you just don't feel good. How do you handle that? Yeah, I mean, I think it, around the holidays is similar to other times when you can acknowledge that some days you're just not going to feel good. Some days you're going to wake up and you're going to be more sad, more depressed. I think it can be helpful to try and identify what might be contributing to that. Maybe you've lost a loved one um, and this is the first holiday season that they're not going to be around for. Uh, maybe, you know, you wish that you could be doing something that you're not able to do. Having that awareness and being honest with yourself about what's making you down or depressed or anxious is really the first step. Um, and remember that the holidays, as much as we want them to be like a Hallmark movie, like um, all the pictures that we see on Pinterest and Facebook, that reality is never perfect. Um, and it's not supposed to be perfect. Reality is what we make it. And oftentimes the imperfection of the holidays is what creates those lasting memories. Um, so let's embrace the imperfection and, and not try to make everything Pinterest perfect. I love that advice because, yes, as beautiful as those pictures look, we all know that it's not perfect, right? No matter what. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got two young kids, and as much as I'd love to have um, photos with us all smiling and happy, uh, most of the time we get photos of someone running around screaming, um, and uh, you know that's just reality. Absolutely. And Greg, let's quickly touch on gratitude because that is also a really big part of the season. We really want to be thankful for all that we have. How can people keep that top front of mind? Yeah, I think it's definitely important to to have that recollection of what we're grateful for. Um, you know, especially around Christmas and Hanukkah, you're thinking about gifts that you're getting and, and the things that you're going to want. But let's take a minute to step back and say, you know, I'm really thankful for all these things that I already had. It's great to get gifts and presents. Um, that's wonderful, but it's not necessary. Um, and can we be happy? Can we bring our emotions and our mind back to those things that we already have that already bring love and joy into our hearts every other day of the year? Wonderful advice, Greg. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to you. And let's hope that they are happy for, for most of us, right? And, and if not, you need some help, you need to learn about treatment options at Pine Rest. You can head to that website right there, pinerest.org, or call the number on your screen, 866-852-4001.